remove my scarf or get 10 kilograms of gold? I've never removed my scarf before, so I'm going to remove it. No, that scarf protects you from bad things. Don't remove it. Okay, I'll choose the gold. Mom, I'm going out with my friends. Okay, remember, whatever you do, do not remove that scarf. Yes, Mom, I know. It's really hot today. Hey, have some of my juice. I haven't tasted juice since I was a child. You really don't know what sweet tastes like? How about salt or sour? I don't know. Yeah, you're weird. We can't be friends anymore. Come on, let's go, guys. Wait! Amara, are you not swimming? I can't swim, sir. Why is that? Because my scarf will get wet and I can't dry it because my mom told me I can't remove it. Oh, then I'm going to have to fail you for this class. Fail me? Yes. Today, there'll be a cooking lesson. Who here can cook? Me. I know how to cook. Okay, then. Please register your name. I'm going to try a little bit of your meal. How is it, sir? Why does it taste so salty? But I've never tasted salt before. What is it? It's better if you don't take cooking class anymore. Look, it's the girl who never tasted food before. And what's even worse is that she's been wearing that scarf since I'm now. not weird. I also don't know why my mom, my mom always tells me to wear the scarf. Amara, did you know there's other girls who can't taste food either? I think it's because of the scarf. Why don't you remove it? But my mom says if I remove it, bad things will happen. You still believe that? You don't know what will happen. Just remove it. Okay, I'll try it. I've removed it. Just be careful if something bad happens to me. Just calm down. Now, we have to see if the reason why you can't taste food is because of that scarf. Hey, I have a drink for you to try. I wonder what it tastes like. Purple village or yellow village? Which one do you think I should choose? Just choose the purple village, honey, because you don't have any friends and there you can make friends. Okay, I'll choose the purple village. Look at Amara, she's always alone. Yeah, she doesn't have a dad. Continue bullying me, I don't care. You don't care? Yeah, because soon I'll have new friends at the purple village. Did you just say purple village? Oh my gosh, she chose the purple village. Why did they all look surprised? I just heard from the other kids that you chose the purple village, right? Yes. Cool, I chose the purple village too. Finally, I found someone else who chose the purple village too. Did anyone else choose the purple village besides us? No, just us. We stand alone. Okay, good. Guys, I know you all don't like me, but can you please just answer one question? Okay, what do you want? Why did you all choose the yellow village? Why didn't you choose the purple village? Because there's a mystery behind the purple village. Oh, there's a mystery? Yeah, apparently it's dangerous to go there. But that's not what mom told me. That's weird. My mom didn't tell me it was dangerous. She said I'd have new friends. Okay, I'm about to go see for myself. Three, two, one. Ha, ha, I'm already at the purple village. Welcome to the purple village. Hi, everyone. Here, you'll have a lot of friends. So nice to meet you. Welcome. Finally, I have new friends here. What was your old village like? Everyone bullied me. Why? Because I don't have a dad. Don't worry, here no one will bully you. In fact, bullying is forbidden. I don't think anyone else chose the purple village besides you. I have a friend named Kelly. She also chose the purple village. But where is she? She hasn't come yet. True. I wonder why she's not here yet. <gasps> that must be her. I'm going to tell her to come over. Hey, finally you arrived. There's so many people you have to meet. Come on. Sorry, Amara, I didn't come here to live in this village. Huh? You didn't come to live here? Then what are you doing here? I came here to pick you up. Listen, you need to know that the people in this village are actually... My status is the queen of school? I have to put it on private to test my friends. What status did you get, honey? Um, gardener, mom. What? Get out of my house now. I'm so happy with my status. What did you get? A lawyer. What about you? Why is it private? Surely your status is lower than mine. That's why you're hiding it. Babe, why is your status private? Because I got gardener and I don't want anyone to know. What? I can't date a gardener, so we have to break up. I got supervisor. I can't be seen with a gardener. Your status isn't even that important. At least it's better than yours. 
Sarah, why would you give me an F on this paper? I studied so hard for this. Well, it's because of your status. You don't deserve to get high grades. Thanks, Sarah, for giving me an A on the this test. This is so unfair. I really want to be Jake's girlfriend. What? Why? Jake is really handsome. Why are all the girls surrounding him like that? Because his status is the king of the school. Of course everyone's gonna like so, him. So, Jake is the king? How come no one's received the status queen of school yet? I don't know, but I think Emily will get it because she's the most beautiful girl in school. Guys, let's go library together. No, I don't want to be friends with you anymore because you're not on my level. Yeah, there's no use for us to be friends. Hey, what are you doing in our class? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in the lower class. Hmm, turns out all my friends are fake. That's enough. I've tested them all now. It's time for me to show my real status. That's enough. I've tested them all now. It's time for me to show my real status. Why does it say error? Is there an error in the system? Guys, you won't believe it. I got the status queen of school. What? No, I have the status queen of school. You don't have to lie, Amara. Yeah, just tell us your real status. Guys, I'm the original school queen, not Emily. What the heck? You're just jealous of me. Where's the proof that you're the queen of school anyway? My status still says error, but just trust me, I'm not lying. No, we don't trust you. You told me you were a gardener yesterday. That's why I broke up with you. See, clearly I'm the queen of school. I've already asked the principal to kick you out. No, you can't do that. Of course I can, and you'll see soon. Hey, you have to pack your things. You're expelled from school. Sir, you can't do that. I'm the queen of school. Emily is the queen of school, and I trust her more. You don't even have proof. But sir... Sir, give her a chance to prove her status. Okay, because you're the king of school, I have to accept your request. Jake, thanks for helping me earlier. You're welcome. I hope you're not lying to me about your status. Of course not. Hey, Gardener, don't come near Jake. He's my soulmate. You can't ban her from talking to me. I'm waiting for her error to go away so she can show her real status. But I am the queen of school. I'm literally the prettiest girl here. Well, one of you are lying, and whoever it is will get a harsh punishment. How do I fix the system? Ouch, my leg is injured. What happened? I fell while sweeping the floor. Okay, wait right here. I'll be right back. Oh, look, the Gardener's trying to help the cleaning lady. <laughs> Here's some medicine. Thank you, you're very kind. My status, it doesn't say error anymore. Mom, I got my name. What is it, honey? It says Margaret Onions. I love it so much. What kind of a name is that? Actually, I find it quite unique. Uh, honey, are you sure about that? Yes, just imagine, Margaret Onions. Wait, you're right, it's awful. I didn't want to say anything. What am I going to do now? Honey, relax, don't get frustrated. You can change your name. Just refuse it and it will give you another one soon. Okay. Hey, Bestie, do you already have a name? Yes, you can now call me Britney Spears. The singer? Yep. You're so lucky. What name did you get? It doesn't matter. I refused it. You can't imagine how horrible it was. Was it that bad? The donkey? Seriously? I'm going to have to refuse again. No, stop refusing. Why not? Imagine one day I marry the prince and he says, Welcome princess, the donkey. Calm down, I'm just trying to say that it's your second option and you can only refuse up to three. And the last option could be even worse, do you understand? <sighs> only three million? Even my birthday party costs more than that. Anyways, good thing my dad is rich, he'll just pay it for me. Daddy? Yes, princess? Give me three million pounds. Don't you think you've been spending too much um, money? Maybe? No. Look, it's good I even asked you because I have access to all your bank accounts and I could have taken it out without even telling you. What do you even need the money for? To be my soulmate, duh! Okay, here you go, princess. Thanks. Hi! I'm here to pay the money so I can be my soulmate. Okay, how much would you like to pay per month? Ew, who do I look like to you? I'm here to pay up front. Okay, that's three million pounds. Here you go. And please hurry up, I'm impatient. What do you think, this is a joke? This money's fake. Fake? My daddy would never give me fake money. Well, clearly, your daddy's dealing with some sort of fraud, so we have no other choice but to arrest you. You can't arrest me. I'm rich. You'll stay in prison until you tell us where we can find your dad. Same clothes or same hair as my soulmate. I don't want my hair to look like a boy, so same clothes. Uh, why are you wearing a Fortnite hoodie? Because my soulmate probably likes Fortnite and I have to wear the same clothes as him. His clothes are ugly. That means he's not from a rich family. I don't know. We'll see. 
Why isn't anyone wearing the same clothes as me? Amara, the clothes that you're wearing are the same as the prince. Seriously? You have to hurry to the palace now. But I don't want to go there by myself. Don't worry, I'm coming with you. Let's go. My clothes are the same as the prince. That means I'm his soulmate. The prince's soulmate has been found. Everyone gather in the hall. I should be the prince's soulmate. I'm the real one and she's a fake. Our clothes are all the same, but I have a solution. You have to join a cooking contest. A cooking contest? Yes, the one with the most delicious cooking will be my wife. Okay then, I have to hurry. Hey, I made a Christmas cupcake. I made pudding. I like both of your cooking, I can't choose. Well then, who won? I will change clothes first to prove who my soulmate is. Because me and my soulmate share outfits after all. I hope my clothes are the same as the prince. I will change clothes first to prove who my soulmate is. Because me and my soulmate share the same outfits after all. I hope my clothes are the same as the prince. I've changed clothes, what about you? <sighs> Looks like I've changed clothes too. Me too. Oh, I'm getting confused. Maybe the prince has two wives. This is ridiculous. There's no way I'm sharing my soulmate with someone else. I really believe that you're the prince's soulmate. But how am I going to make him believe that? You have to get rid of that girl first. By the way, where did that girl go? Looks like she went and she's planning something. You have to be prepared. Did you hear? Apparently the prince has two soulmates. I think one of them must be lying. I know, I'd hate to be in their position. I wonder what they have to say once they find out I'm his soulmate. I'm home. Honey, you left the palace. I saw what happened on the news. <sighs> yeah, I left. The prince should be my soulmate, mom. You need to show him proof. He won't believe you unless you have proof. I'll help you. You again. What are you doing here? I'm here to prove myself. And how are you going to do that? By changing my clothes. Me and my soulmate share the same outfit. So if I change my clothes, then surely his clothes will automatically change. And if that happens, I will marry the prince. Me and my soulmate share the same outfit, so if I change my clothes, then surely his will change too. And if that happens, that means I'm going to marry the prince. Okay, so all I need to do is change this outfit, right? I'll just put on this grey top, and if he's wearing the same clothes as me, that means he's my soulmate. Okay, I've changed outfits. Now I just need to find the prince. Where is he? You again! Why are you wearing the same outfit as me? I don't know, my outfits change randomly all the time. No, you're lying. You're doing this on purpose. You just want to steal the prince from me. Speaking of the prince, where is he? I don't know, I thought he was with you. Hey, have you seen the prince? Oh, you two are matching. <sighs> Answer my question. He's in that room over there. Finally, there you are. Wait, who is she? Guys, that's not what it looks like. Are you cheating on us? I can't believe it. I just met my soulmate and he's already cheating on me. Well, I don't care about this whole soulmate thing. Plus, this girl's cooking is way better than both of you. This is so weird. Why was he wearing the same outfit as us? Do you want to know why? Who are you? It doesn't matter. The reason why you're all wearing the same outfits is because you're all soulmates. Wait, what? Yes, but you have to pick who you want to be with. You should get the options now. Mine says I can pick between the prince or you. So does mine. Okay, I've already picked. I'm gonna pick later. Hey, just out of curiosity, who did you pick to be your soulmate? Oh, I, uh, I picked you. Wait, what? Mm, Mom, the food was so delicious. Can I have some more? No, you can't eat anymore. You'll gain weight. No, I don't. I always take care of my body. If you gain too much weight, it can be dangerous for your health, so no more food. Why do you have to be like this? I'm so bored. Why can't I eat? See, I was right. I don't even weigh that much, even though I eat a lot. I'm going to school. Can you give me some money for food? Sure, here. But this isn't enough for food, mom. Just buy a small snack. You don't need to eat all the time. But mom, that's not going to fill me up. What did you just say? Nothing. Thanks, mom. Look, that's the girl who never gains any weight, but she eats a lot. Our school is holding a modeling competition. Who wants to join? Sir, I'd like to join, please. Are you sure you want to enter the competition? Yes, sir. Okay, please write your name on this piece of paper. Okay, thanks, sir. You must feel really lucky, huh? Lucky? What do you mean? Because you get to be a part of the modeling competition. You eat a lot, but you never gain any weight. 
Everyone, we have a new student. Wow, she's pretty. Don't be sitting next to Amara. Sir, I don't want to sit next to her. Whoa, that's the first time someone says they don't want to sit next to Amara. Why did she not want to sit next to me? Guys, do you want to be in the same group as me? Sorry, our group is full. Really? How come? Your group is never full. Because we're in the same group as the new girl. Yeah, and apparently she's super smart. Smarter than you. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll find another group. Babe, I'm so annoyed. You don't even know what happened today. We have to break up. Huh? Why? Because you look like a kid. Just look at your body. I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. I'd rather date the new girl. Well, at least I can still take part in the modeling competition and she can't. Sir, I'm so glad I can take part in the modeling competition later. Your opponent is Amara, right? Yes, sir. First, she steals my boyfriend and now this. I'm not going to let her win. You do know it's not easy to win that competition, Why isn't right? it easy to win? During the competition, you'll be asked to eat a lot and the one who what? does wins. But if I eat a lot, there's no way I'm not going to gain weight. I can't lose against the new girl. You want to win, right? Who are you? It doesn't matter. What matters is I'm here to help you win. Here, eat this. Once you eat it, your weight will stop and no one will be able to see that you've gained weight. Okay. I wonder if she's telling the truth. Amara, where did you get that from? Some old lady gave it to me. What the heck? You can't eat that. It's really bad. If you eat it, your body will... The modeling competition will start soon. Sorry, but I have to go. I'm going to be late. Bye. Wait. It will rain every time I sleep or every time I eat. Sleep, of course, because usually it's good to sleep while it rains. Mom, can you take me to school? I can't take you because I have work to do. <gasps> but I'm going to be late. That's not my problem. This is the right time to try out my strength. Wait, what? How comes it's suddenly raining so much? Okay, fine. I'll take you to school. Hey, Emily. Why do you look so sad? Jake, he's dating Stephanie. And what's wrong with that? We were childhood friends. I thought one day me and him... Come on, stop crying. You should never cry for a boy. I'm not going to maths class later. Yeah, as always, you skip maths to go play basketball. No, this time I have permission. I'm going to Germany for a basketball game. Just pray it doesn't rain. Don't worry, it won't rain. I'm not sleepy. What do you mean, babe? Um, nothing. Have a safe flight. <gasps> Why do I feel so sleepy? Why is it raining? Amara, wake up! What's wrong? You scared me. How come the rain stopped immediately? Try sleeping again. Gosh, you can control the rain. Yes, it rains every time I sleep. Whoa, so cool. Have you done the homework? Huh? What homework? Sir said anyone who hasn't done the homework is getting a detention. I'll just sleep. Sir called the principal and said he's not coming in for the next lesson because it's raining. But what about the homework? I know you slept so that Sarah wouldn't check our homework. Yeah, so what? I know your boyfriend would be really angry with you because you made it rain. Oh yeah, I forgot he had a flight to Germany today. Honey, remember, Justin has a flight today. Don't sleep so it doesn't rain. Wait, what did mom just say? Amara, wake up! <sighs> I didn't even sleep. Yes, you've been sleeping for five hours. I've been trying to wake you, but you didn't wake up. Five hours? How about Justin's flight to Germany? I don't know, but hopefully he'll arrive safely to his destination. Amara, I got news about Justin. His flight got cancelled and postponed until tomorrow. <sighs> Thank God he's safe. This time you have to watch out. You can't sleep. This is all your fault. My flight got postponed because of you. I'm sorry, I forgot you had a flight. If you sleep again today, I'm breaking up with you. Don't! I still love you! Do you promise not to fall asleep until I get to Germany? I promise. It's already midnight. It's time for you to go to sleep, honey. No! I don't want to sleep until Justin gets to his destination. He hasn't left yet, so it's okay if it rains. No! Today I'm not sleeping at all. Okay, up to you, but don't say I didn't tell you. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, Amara, you look really tired. Didn't you sleep tonight? No, I can't sleep yet. Class, we're going to be taking an exam. Exam? <sighs> I can't. Amara, what are you doing? It's starting to rain. Don't sleep. I'm really sleepy. I don't think I can do this exam. Don't worry, I'll help you. You look tired. How long until your flight? I'm going to the airport now. My flight is in one hour. Don't see Yeah, me, okay? don't worry. I won't put you in danger.
Okay, I trust you. I need to go now. Bye. Mom, I'm home. Remember, honey, don't sleep. I'll make you a coffee. Maybe it will help. Yeah, make it extra strong. My eyes are burning. Let me just close them for a moment. Why is there a storm outside? Amara, wake up! Amara, wake up! Wow, you're really stubborn. It's time I try something else. Ouch! You're hurting me. Why are you pinching me? You've slept for two hours and now there's a storm. Sorry, Mom. I'm just too tired. How was Justin's flight? Still no news. Maybe he's still on the plane. <sighs> Amara, you slept again. What is wrong with you? You put Justin's life in danger. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't sleep all night. Have you heard anything back from him? No, I thought he would call you once he arrived. He still hasn't called. Let me know if he does. Did you see what happened down the road? There was a flood and so many cars got damaged. Yes, I know. The water reached my house as well. This is really bad. I really hope they can catch the person responsible for this. Me too. Who are you calling? I've been trying to call Justin, but he's not answering. It's your fault if something bad happens to him. Stop making me feel guilty. I think we have to destroy Amara. It's true. She's causing trouble for everyone. Oh my gosh, look. That's her. Hey, I'm having a hard time too, because I'm trying to not fall asleep for all of you. It's better if we just get rid of her now. You think that will solve the problem? If you get rid of me, I'll sleep forever. That means there's going to be a storm forever. Why is there no news about the plane? I'm starting to get worried. This is the girl. What are you doing? Why is the police here? Because you're responsible for Justin's disappearance. What? No, I'm not. And besides, no one knows what happened to him. Maybe his phone died or something. Justin's finally calling me, Mom. Come on, pick up. We're all worried. Hey, babe, where are you? Is it true that this is Justin's girlfriend? Huh? This is not Justin's voice. I hope I get the crown symbol so I can live in the palace and marry the prince. Huh? An upside down crown? I thought there was only two symbols, a crown and a leaf. How did I get an upside down crown? Mom, there's something wrong with my symbol. What? Upside down crown? That means you're the enemy of the palace. What? Yeah, cover up quickly before anyone sees it. Why did I get the symbol? Why couldn't they just give me an ordinary crown? Oh look, you got the leaf symbol, just like everyone else. And I see you got the crown symbol. Congrats. Thanks. If I marry the prince, I'll invite you. See you later. I swear the system has an error. How can an arrogant person like Nancy get the crown symbol? You really think it's good to live in the palace? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Those who got the crown symbol will be forced to marry the king who's already had 12 wives in the past. And what's worse is that they can't refuse it. Marry the king? That's crazy. Isn't he like in his 80s or something? And if that was true, why is everyone competing to get the crown symbol? That's because they don't know what's actually going on in the palace. How do you know? You have a leaf symbol. Because I used to live there. How did you live in the palace with that symbol? Believe it or not, my original symbol was. Hurry up, everyone with a leaf symbol has to get to class. From now on, everyone with a leaf symbol has to stay in this class. But this class is so full, there's barely enough space for everyone. I'm getting claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, this is your new class. Oh, ew, what's that smell? Why is there so many people here? Why are you here, Nancy? I thought you'd already be on the way to the palace by now. None of your business. Those with leaf signs are only allowed to eat yogurt. You're not allowed to eat anything containing meat. What? But why? I was just about to buy a hamburger. Oh, sorry you can't eat any meat. Hey, you can have my burger. But just to let you know, I've spat on it. Hey, Nancy, don't talk to people with leaf symbols. Sorry, sir, I was just saying hi to my old friend. Hey, Aiden, can you believe it? There's more than two symbols. How do you know? Come with me to the girls' toilet. Are you insane? I'm a guy. I'm not going to go to the girls' toilet. Just come. I want to show you my symbol. Hurry up. I can't be seen in here. Here, see. This is my original symbol. Upside down crown. Do you know what it means? <gasps> An upside down crown? That means you... And that means you're the king's huh? greatest enemy. How comes your answer's exactly like my mother's? That means she wasn't lying. You don't trust your own mother? I mean, only sometimes, because usually my family gives me money and she says she's gonna hold it for me, but she uses it on school fees. Do you even know anything about symbols? I used to read in my grandpa's history book. He said everyone that got the upside down crown must take the king's throne. 
What? Steal the king's throne? Are you crazy? Don't make things up, Aiden. It's really bad. And if in three days you don't take the king's crown, you're going to die. That's what's written in the book. I'm gonna die in three days? No, I don't believe you. I need proof. Where's the proof? You want proof? Come with me tonight. We're going to the grave. To the grave at night? Are you insane? We're going to find my grandpa's history book. I hid it in the grave. Why are we walking towards the palace anyways? When are we going to your grandpa's grave? My grandpa's buried at the palace. Buried at the palace? I thought only royals were buried at the palace. Um, to be honest, this is my symbol. Adrian, your symbol's a crown. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Shh, don't speak too loud. I'll tell you later, but for now, let's find a safe place. Your symbol only showed when you turned 17, right? My symbol was there my whole life because my dad was king. Oh, so you're the son of the previous king. You're a prince then. Yes, the current king has an upside down crown, just like so you. So, he was the one who killed your dad? Yes, he killed him the day he found out by his symbol. He killed my mom too, because she refused to be his wife. But, how come none of this is in the news? Yes, because things like this are common in the palace. Seize the throne, share the wife. Wow, all this time I thought royals had the perfect life. But wait, why does this symbol even exist? If the upside down crown didn't exist, the world would have been much safer and no one would fight over the throne. Okay, I've decided to take the king's throne. Are you sure? Yes, and besides, I don't even want the throne like that. I just don't want to die. You're the one who said I have three days. Yes, that's right. Okay, if that's the case, I'll show you the secret passage to the palace without the gods seeing you. Oh yeah, here's a weapon for you. It's poison. Why did you give me this? Oh, so that you can... Mommy, what's this? You can choose to either be dating or married when you're 20. I want to be married. Why do I have this plaster on my finger? It's not coming off. Finally, I'm not single anymore. I also found myself a boyfriend. Amara, what about you? Are you still single? Everyone already has a Ever boyfriend. Ever since I got this thing on my finger, no one likes me anymore. Oh, I hope you find a boyfriend soon. Me too. But what even is that on your finger? Is it a plaster? Yeah, I can only remove it when I'm 20. Hey, Amara, you also have that on your finger? Yeah, I do. Yours also doesn't come off? No, only when I turn 20. Oh my gosh, that's so soon. Your birthday's tomorrow, right? Yeah. Happy birthday, Amara. It's time for you to take the plaster off. Yeah, I'm so nervous. Happy birthday. It's time for you to take your plaster off. Yeah, I'm so nervous. Why does it have a symbol? Maybe it's the initials of your future husband. Your name is Adrian. Do you think it's you? Uh, I don't know. This girl is so pretty. Don't even try it. I'm the one that likes her. Hey, Amara. You wouldn't want to be my girlfriend. Sorry, you guys aren't my type. Only Adrian is. Amara, I want to ask you something. You seem so nervous. What is it? Well, would you want to be my girlfriend? Why are you deciding to ask me that out of the blue? Look, I didn't tell you this before, but I also have the letter A on my finger. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to think about it. If he knew I was his soulmate, why wouldn't he ask me to marry him straight away? Amara, apparently the prince is in town. He's looking for his soulmate. Wait, for real? Yeah. I wonder who the lucky girl is. Excuse me, are you Amara? Yes. Will you accept to marry me? Excuse me, are you Amara? Yeah. Will you accept to marry me? What's going on here? Adrian? What are you doing? That's my soulmate. You can't just ask her to marry you. How do you know I'm your soulmate? Furthermore, you're only turning 20 next week, so how do you know what initials you're getting? Trust me, I know it's you. Just give me a week to prove it. Your Highness, I'm so sorry to ask this, but can I please see the initials on your finger? Of course. You got an A. I'm so glad we finally found each other. Me too. Excuse me for a second, I just need to speak with Adrian. Why are you doing this? Because you can't marry him. What is wrong with you? You're acting weird out of a sudden. Why don't you want me to marry my soulmate? Because I love you, Amara, okay? I don't want to see you with anyone else. Why don't you want me to marry my soulmate? Because I love you, Amara, okay? I don't want to see you with anyone else. You're really selfish, you know that. No, you're just stupid. You just think that because you got an A on your finger that the prince is your soulmate. He's not the only one that has a name that starts with an A. So many other people do as well. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need some time. It's okay, I completely understand. Whenever you're ready, call me. Here's my number. Honey, is everything okay? No, I'm just so confused. I wish I could know who my soulmate is. The only clue they gave me was the first letter of his name. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to give you this. What is this? It has the full name of your soulmate Wait, in it. Wait, really? 
Thanks, Mom. That actually helps a lot. I'm so nervous to open it. Here we go. I knew it. It's Prince Andrew. 